American rapper, actor, and producer, Anthony Terrell Smith, better known by his stage name, Tone Loke, was born in Los Angeles, California. After his father died when he was around the age of six, Tone and his brothers were raised solely by their mother. His musical influences growing up were some of the biggest players in the hip-hop game, such as Redman, Curtis Blow, Run DMC, and LL Cool J. Tone has reluctantly admitted that he was once a Crip gang member. His crew were also the ones responsible for giving him his street name, Tony Loco, which shortened turned into his stage name. Tony came from his real name, Anthony, and Loco meaning crazy in Spanish. The unique, raspy voice he would become so well known for actually came about accidentally. Tone told the Phoenix New Times in 1989 that during his first year of high school, he drank a scalding cup of tea with brandy that his mother gave to him after developing strep throat. Instead of the mixture providing a soothing remedy, it burned him. Throughout his teens, he joined a couple of rap groups that didn't go anywhere, but the experience did inspire him to continue inventing lyrics. Shortly after graduating high school, Tone found himself out of work and trying to figure out what next step to take in his life when he was approached by his cousin. He knew that Tone had dabbled in rapping in the past and asked him if he was interested in giving it another go, hooking up with some people he knew that were actively trying to break into the music industry. Tone jumped at the opportunity. His debut album, Loked After Dark, was released in January 1989. Three months prior, his first single and subsequent hit, Wild Thing, dropped and shot all the way to number two on the Billboard Hot 100. One sore spot among the celebration, though, was the fallout from the unauthorized use of a guitar riff from Van Halen's song, Jamie's Cryin'. Of course, the popular rock band wasn't gonna let that violation go and sue Tone. The case was eventually settled out of court. Tone's success continued with the album's second single, Funky Cole Medina. It reached number three on the Hot 100 and, just like Wild Thing, also achieved major success worldwide. His work would also score him two Grammy nominations for Best New Artist and Best Rap Solo Performance for Funky Cole Medina. He'd get another nod from the Recording Academy in 1991 for his contribution on the West Coast Rap All-Stars track, We're All In The Same Gang. Loked After Dark went to number one on the album's chart and eventually reached double platinum status. Fellow rapper Young MC also deserves a special shout out for Tone Loke's accomplishments since he wrote both of the album's hit tracks. Tone's follow-up album, Cool Hand Loke, was released in November 1991. The first and only single, All Through the Night, found only moderate success on the charts. His second album would also be his last, as of the making of this video. According to what he told the Phoenix New Times just after the release of his debut, it's no surprise why. I never really intended on being a rapper professionally. I've been into the rap game for money, plain and simple. I never intended on being the best rapper, maybe the wealthiest, not the best. I'm a businessman pretty much. This is a foundation for me to make 10 to 20 times as much money in one year than I would have made in 10 years in another job. That sentiment probably also explains his venture into the acting world on the big and small screen. After his stint at the top of the music charts, Tone secured roles in several feature films, including Poetic Justice, Blank Check, and Ace Ventura Peck Detective. And on the television shows, Rock, Touched by an Angel, Martin, and Living Single. Tone also took full advantage of people's love of his outstanding voice and began securing gigs as a voice actor. He can be heard voicing characters in several television cartoon series, such as King of the Hill and Sea Bear and Jamal, and was featured in the animated films Bebe's Kids and Fern Gully The Last Rainforest. He also voiced Food Rapper, the host of the musical stage show attraction Food Rocks, at Epcot in the Walt Disney World Resort for 10 years, from 1994 to 2004. In the midst of Tone Loke's success, he's also had to deal with some major health issues that at times have affected his ability to fulfill his work obligations. According to reports, many of these incidents have been due to seizures. In May 2009, he was rushed to a Florida hospital after collapsing during a concert in Pensacola. He was treated and released the same day. Then in October 2011, he was hospitalized for exhaustion after collapsing on stage during a concert in Atlanta. Other similar incidents occurred in 2012, 
2013 and 2016. He's continued to wear his signature sunglasses at every performance to help reduce the likelihood of a seizure. Tone's bad behavior behind the music over the years has had him experiencing several run-ins with the law. In December 2010, he was arrested for an alleged DUI. His manager, however, told TMZ that his client doesn't drink and his observed erratic driving was due to a seizure. He was eventually released on bail. The following year, Tone was arrested for felony domestic violence and felony possession of an assault weapon after an altercation with the mother of one of his children. He was later released after posting $50,000 bail. Four months later, he entered a plea of no contest to both charges and was sentenced to one day in county jail, three years probation, 30 days of community service, and 52 weeks of anger management counseling. In March 2019, Tone was detained by the Midland Police Department in Texas after confronting a teen and then his parents over his wearing of a Confederate flag hat. The heated altercation started in the baggage claim area and continued outside. Authorities were later called to the scene where they separated both parties and detained Tone. Once the situation de-escalated, the handcuffs were removed and Tone was permitted to leave. No criminal charges were filed. In 2022, Tone had a hilarious feature as the singing voice of Penny Proud in the revival animated television series, The Proud Family, Louder and Prouder. Currently, the father of six continues to perform on the I Love the 90s tour, which has been going strong since 2016. The tour invites attendees to reminisce about the trend-setting decade with some of the most iconic figures in rap, hip hop, and R&B, including Vanilla Ice, All For One, Color Me Bad, Coolio, Young MC, Sir Mix a Lot, and many more. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and comment. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you won't miss any future videos. See you next time.